Hi, I'm Michael Ferraro, a consultant agronomist for Maroondah City Council, and I'm here to provide advice on how to set up your workstation. Most of us spend hours at our desk every day. Bad habits, incorrect posture can lead to aches and pains. To ensure you're using the equipment correctly, here are some simple tips to set up your workstation to best suit you. If you have any specific needs or requirements due to injuries or health conditions, please seek further advice from your Occupational Health and Safety Coordinator prior to adjusting your workstation. Before we begin, let's familiarise ourselves with the equipment provided to you. First, let's look at your chair. There are many ways to adjust the chair to meet your requirements, including adjusting the seat height, the back support height and angle, the lumbar support, and the depth and angle of your seat cushion. Now let's take a look at your workstation, which is electronically height adjustable. The workstation can be raised and lowered using the small controller on the right hand side of your desk. There are also features that can be used to program your preferred heights. This can be particularly useful if you share a desk, as you can save your individual preferences. Each workstation has two monitors, which are mounted on arms, making them easy to adjust. Now that you're familiar with all your equipment, let's look at the best way to set up your workstation. Firstly, let's adjust the chair to suit your needs. To adjust the chair height, you need to use the front lever on the right hand side of the chair. Move the chair up or down so that your feet are firmly resting on the ground and your knees are level with your hips. This will help reduce the pressure on your thighs. Now let's look at the lumbar support. The chair is designed with a curve in the backrest and a height adjustable support panel. The backrest should fit snugly in the curve of your lower back, roughly around or just below your waist. In order to achieve this, you need to adjust the back height and angle. There are five back height positions available on this chair. To find what works best for you, you will need to raise or lower the backrest, which will click as it moves into a new position. As the backrest is lifted, it will click into five different positions. To lower the backrest, you will need to raise it to its highest position, which will then release the ratchet and allow the backrest to return to the lowest position. It may help to have a colleague assist you with this process. Once the back height is in the optimal position, adjust the lumbar support panel to suit. Now you need to adjust the angle of the back support. Lift the rear lever on the left hand side of the chair to adjust the back support angle. It should be between a 90 degree and 100 degree angle. Once you are happy with the angle, lower the lever to lock it in position. If the chair angle is not adjusted correctly, it will impact on your posture and could cause discomfort or pain if sitting for long periods of time. Before we finalise this step, you might need to slightly adjust the lumbar support height if the back support angle has been changed. Now you need to check the seat cushion position. When sitting with your back firmly against the lumbar support, there should be a two to three finger gap between the back of your knee and the front of the seat cushion. This provides the ideal support for your thighs. You can adjust the position by lifting the lever at the front left hand side of the chair. Once you have found the ideal position, lower the lever to lock it in place. Now that your chair is correctly adjusted, let's take a look at your workstation. There are two options when using the electronically adjustable desk, either sitting or standing. Whatever your chosen working style, it's important to ensure you adjust your workstation to the correct height for you. Your elbows should be at a 90 degree angle and your forearms should be level with a desk surface. An easy way to work this out is to ensure that your elbows are level with the desk surface when seated or standing. If your desk height is incorrect, you may place strain on the wrists, forearms or shoulders. To adjust the desk height, you will need to use the controller on the front right hand side of your desk. To lower the desk, press the controller down. To raise the desk, lift the controller upwards. If you decide to work from a standing position, please be mindful of where you place your chair. If you can, place your chair under the workstation or ensure it is out of the way and not a trip hazard to yourself or others. You should also wear supportive footwear with good arch support and avoid standing in heels for extended periods of time. Now that you've got the chair and workstation set up, let's look at your IT equipment. Each workstation will have two screens that are fully adjustable. Ideally, you should position yourself in front of one screen with a secondary screen to either your right or left. The screen in front of you should be your primary screen that you conduct most of your work and the secondary screen should be used as a reference. 
If you sit in the middle of both screens, this could cause you to put additional pressure on your neck as you switch between the screens or lean to one side when using one screen for prolonged periods. Now let's look at the height of the screen. When looking at the screens, it is important that they are at the correct height, allowing for a neutral neck position. Generally, most of your work is focused on the middle third of the screen. So it is important that the monitors are at a height that keeps your neck straight and your eyes level with this section of the screen. You also need to place the screens at a distance that works for your vision. For someone with 20-20 vision, this is around an arm's length away. If you wear glasses or contact lenses, you may need to change the distance of your screen to accommodate your vision. You also need to ensure that your keyboard and mouse are correctly positioned in front of you. You should try to avoid using the keyboard and mouse with your arms outstretched. Aim to have your arms at a comfortable 90 degree angle. You might also want to consider the position of your phone. Placing it on the opposite side of your mouse means you can still operate the computer while holding the phone, as well as reducing the likelihood of the cords from your devices getting tangled. Your chair and workstation are now set up to best suit your needs and ensure that you aren't putting any additional strain on your body. There's just a few more helpful hints I'd like to share with you to make sure you can establish healthy habits at your workstation. Avoid sitting in any one position for extended periods of time and avoid slouching or leaning to one side. When standing, make sure you wear supportive footwear. A change of posture can give your muscles movement and rest, so try to alternate between sitting and standing positions. It is also helpful to take micro breaks, such as getting a glass of water, walking to a colleague's desk rather than emailing them, or take a brief walk during a tea break. Consider doing basic stretches for your neck, eyes, arms, back and legs. These can be done seated or standing and help to alleviate any aches or tightness you may have. For more information, visit SmartNet. I hope you have found this video helpful and now have your workstation set up to meet your needs. Should you have any questions, experience any aches or pains, or have a personal injury, please liaise with your Occupational Health and Safety Coordinator for further assistance.